G'day, g'day. Today I'm going to use an example to show you the sorts of things that you should be thinking about when choosing the keywords for your SEO copy and when optimizing your site around those keywords. The example comes from a client of mine who's a property manager in Sydney and uh, she emailed me yesterday asking if she should be optimizing for search terms like property manager Sydney, property manager Surrey Hills, property manager Hills District. The short answer is yes, she should be optimizing for all of those terms. The long answer is that she should also be considering other terms which better uh, reflect the diversity of her client base. Uh, for instance, a, an advanced property investor might be likely to search for something like property portfolio management, whereas uh, uh, someone new to, to property investment might be likely to be searching for rental management. And someone who's interested in finding a property manager in Surrey Hills might be looking for Surrey Hills property management. And my client needs to be able to optimize her site for all of these terms in order to grab all of those visitors. Uh, this isn't an easy thing to do, obviously. She can't just bang all of those keywords onto a single page. She can't just splatter them randomly across her site. She needs to be strategic about it. And the best way to do this is to create clusters of pages around each keyword. So for instance, she might create a cluster of phrases around the keyword phrase, cluster of pages around the keyword phrase, property, property portfolio management. She might have an introductory page on property portfolio management, and then a series of sub pages, one on tools, for managing your investment property portfolio and one for tax tips for traveling between your properties in your investment portfolio. And there she would have a, a helpful, helpful cluster of pages for advanced property investors. Similarly, she might create uh, an introductory page for learning about rental management. And she might create a series of sub pages like rental management tax tips and rent collection tips. And then she'd have a series of helpful pages for novice property investors. And likewise, she might create an introductory page for Surrey Hills property management and a series of sub pages for Surrey Hills property management council regulations and Surrey Hills property values. And there she'd have a very helpful collection of pages for people interested in property investment and property management in the Surrey Hills area. Now, this is exactly the sort of thing that Google likes to see. It doesn't want to return uh, sites in its, in its search results that just mention um, property management in Surrey Hills. It wants to return pages that are about property management in Surrey Hills. And it wants to return pages that are about uh, rental management and it wants to return pages that are about property portfolio management. So by creating a cluster of pages dedicated to those keywords, uh, my client will, uh, will please Google and it will also please readers because this is the sort of structure that they want. This is the sort of information that they're after. They want something helpful. They don't want to come to a site and just read a, a boring old blurb which is clearly uh, designed to, uh, to be just a, an SEO uh, piece of spam. So the, the solution is, is obviously to create clusters of pages. This is also called theming. Uh, the, the only question remaining is, is how to actually present those pages on your website so that the reader can navigate to them. Now we've already created these three categories, one for advanced expert property investors, one for novice property investors, and one for a locality guide. So uh, it would be my recommendation to simply structure the navigation around those categories. Um, and if you want to get a bit tricky with your keywords, you could do that by having your navigation say, advanced property management. And that links through to your cluster of pages about property portfolio management. Similarly, you could create a navigation item which says Rental Management 101, and that links through to your cluster of pages about rental management for novices. And finally, you could create a navigation item called Property Investment Locality Guide, which links through 
to your uh, location specific property management information. Now, as you can see, each cluster is optimised for the very term that that segment of the audience is going to be searching for. So it's, it's, it's perfectly optimised to please Google and it's, it's very helpful, so it's very likely to appear in the search results because it is about those subjects. That the, that the user is searching for, it doesn't just touch on them, it just doesn't mention them, it's about them. And so that's the, that's the best way to structure your site if you have multiple, if you're targeting multiple keywords. So to summarize, if you have multiple keywords and you need to, and multiple audiences that are, that are searching for different things, figure out what they're searching for and why, and you can use tools like Word Tracker to do that. Uh, and once you figure that out, create clusters of pages as we've done here around each keyword phrase, and then create a, a keyword rich navigation link to those clusters of pages. And that will please everyone, Google and your readers.